So that was a bit dramatic. But you might be surprised, in addition to regular encryption, there are some interesting ways that you can control the emails you send through Gmail. Welcome to Tech Tip Tuesday, a segment of this channel where I share a privacy or security tip that you can start using in five minutes or less. Today I'm going to introduce you to Confidential Mode, a 007 super secret spy feature that you probably didn't even realize you could use in Gmail. And if you stick around with me to the end, I'll have some bonus tips for Gmail that you won't want to miss. Now, let me start off by saying that while sending self-destructing emails is pretty cool, it's not something you need to do with every single email you send. In fact, you'll probably annoy your friends and family if you do that. Aw, oh, come on, another one, Josh? Yeah, like I said, not good. If you're wanting to find ways to generally secure your Gmail account, I highly recommend you consider using two-factor authentication on your account, a means of verifying your identity beyond your password. This can be done through the Google Authenticator app, which was another Tech Tip Tuesday video we've done, or through a 2FA security key like this one from YubiKey. Anyway, that's not what we're here to talk about. Today, we're talking about the little known confidential mode in Gmail. Take a look at my screen for a moment where I'll show you where to find it. When you're composing a new email, look for that little icon on the bottom that looks like a lock with a timer in front of it. When you click here, you'll see two different options come up. The first option allows you to set an expiration for the email. While not nearly as dramatic as the explosion I showed you earlier, it does give you a little more control over how long your email is available to be viewed. The second option allows for SMS verification that requires the recipient of your email to first receive a text message on a phone number you provide Gmail before they can open and read your email. Google also claims that confidential mode provides extra protection, such as limits on the ability to forward, copy, or print the email. But the truth is that a user can still screenshot that email and then copy, print, or forward that screenshot. So the privacy isn't entirely foolproof. Confidential mode works best when you're sending an email to another Gmail user, but it still works for those who don't have a Gmail address. The only difference is that instead of receiving a regular email, the user of services other than Gmail will get an email with a link to view that email in their browser, which requires a password or login. Disclaimer alert, although the messages can be set to expire for your recipient, it's not entirely clear how long Google keeps that message on its servers. So for this reason, Gmail's confidential mode shouldn't be relied upon as the ultimate security measure, merely as an extra privacy measure. Again, this isn't a feature you should be using every single day, but it's helpful to know that confidential mode exists. So you can have a little more control over those messages when you might wanna be sending something more time sensitive or a private email. Now, as promised, I'd like to share some bonus tips for Gmail power users. First, did you know that Gmail gives you the ability to create infinite email addresses? It's true, and you can use addresses like your name plus spam at gmail.com to help you take better control of your inbox. I've got an entire video describing how this is done that you can watch here. Second, if you're truly paranoid about your online security, I advise you apply for Google Advanced Protection, a program built for activists, journalists, and others who wanna maintain the highest level of privacy and security. I'll put links to the application page in the description below, and it's entirely free. If you thought this was helpful, you're going to love the rest of these Tech Tip Tuesday videos, which I've put together in a playlist. Oh, and if you don't click on that like button, this video is going to self-destruct in f You still watching? <laughs> you're crazy.